Okay, I, you can stay, but you have to be good. You're gonna behave? You gotta eat some bugs for me. Alright, we're good. We're good. Y you can stay. Hello, everyone. It is so cold, which I know I say in every single video so far, but it's just so unseasonably cold. Um, I'm outside here with my needle palms, and I need to cover them up and protect them because the low tomorrow night is three degrees. And I put a frost cloth over these and make sure they're well mulched anytime it drops below 10. These are needle palms. Hence the kind of spikiness you see there inside the trunk. I have had them for several years. You know, needle palms are slow growers. So uh, I want to reduce the amount of winter damage on them as much as possible whenever I can. I've had these for probably five or six years. And they've grown a good, I don't know, a few feet. They've, they've grown a lot for needle palms. Needle palms grow slow, which is just even more reason to not want them to endure damage if they don't have to. Like I said, these are needle palms. A little background info on these guys. They are native to the southeastern and southern United States. And they are supposed to be, uh, I think, you know, as of now, these are considered the most cold hardy palm you can grow. I'm in zone 6B. 6A, 6B, kind of depends on the winter. And uh, they have grown flawlessly for me. They do really well, but I do protect them when we drop below 10. There were three years when I didn't protect them, and they survived, but I ended up having to treat them for crown rot the last year, and so I decided I don't want to do that again because it just reduces their growth so much. So it becomes a setback, and, you know, as gardeners, we don't really like setbacks with our plants. We want them to keep progressing. So... I uh, spray these down every single year when it's in the 50s, generally around early November. I hit them with an anti-transpirant spray, such as Freeze Proof or No Wilt or uh, any other frost-type protection. And then I hit them again early December, as long as it's warm enough, before I go ahead and cover them up. So here's the Freeze Proof. That's what it looks like. Works fairly well. There are studies saying that it does nothing, and there are other studies saying that it works. So you kind of have to go ahead and try it for yourself. Here's a study I found from gardenprofessors.com, and it's showing that it works really well, but this same website, these same people did another study um, with them on tomatoes. So they did it on tomatoes and um, other, I think, like kale, cabbage. You can check out the site, but in that study they did, it showed that it had no effect. Uh, suggesting that maybe it's only effective on old growth or old foliage. Either way, it doesn't hurt to use it. It just helps keep your plants from drying out from too much wind. Another good option here is this ecologic frost protection. They're basically the same thing. Any type of anti-transpirant will really do the trick just fine. So I, once I have those sprayed down a couple times, I go ahead and I take out my frost claws. I use these big bag-style ones with a zipper on them, or not a zipper, but a, what's that called? The string you pull? So I go ahead and I wrap that around them. I put one on each one, get it down there, and I tighten it up really, really well. And um, I actually end up putting two on each one. So, oh, flip the camera around. What's going on? That's better. I have the sable palm, sable palmetto, and it has been in the ground for years, and I've never protected it, but I figure why not just, I'll throw a pot over it. Boom. There we go. That's better than nothing. That'll, that's, that's fine for now. The main thing is to keep the wind off of them and keep ice out of the crowns. Uh, and then here's a backup image of these needle palms now that I've covered them up and double bagged them. I have mulched them. I have about a bag and a half, two bags of pine nugget mulch. I like the pine nugget because it allows a little bit more breathing, a little more airflow. And it's working well, but I don't put it against the trunk because you don't want the trunks to rot from the moisture building up in there. That all being said, if you live somewhere south of zone 7, really, this is a really good way to go ahead and protect them, give them nice, well-drained soil, and um, shelter them from heavy, dry winter winds, and really it's best to just kind, kind of try and keep them dry. So that's all for today. Happy gardening, everybody.